what's up guys we are back again with one of the best performing decks on ladder mortar bait is so strong in clash throughout and you guys need to level it up guards are phenomenal at shutting down golden knight sparkies bridge bam and on offense with minor they pack a punch dark goblin is probably the best card in the game that isn't a champion and if you want to run archer queen instead you can always do that but seriously you have unlimited potential for damage in this deck that is a control deck because you've got mortar dark goblin cannon cart minor and fireball to finish off games fast it seems like you can consistently keep up the pressure whenever you're defending with guards or bats throwing a miner in front of them when your opponent's down elixir and you take full advantage of the situation i also love that you can seamlessly defend and apply aggression with a mortar when your opponent goes in for a ram rider or a balloon or a hog rider their units are going to get pulled to the middle onto the mortar and then they're gonna have to spend more elixir so then the mortar doesn't lock onto the tower and when they're down elixir that's just simply not possible so that's why this style of mortar deck is always played by pro players at the highest level it's well worth learning so let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance and a whole lot of love to everyone that's using creative code sir tag supporting the channel all right so jumping into the game let's get this bread this is one of the best decks in clash Royale for a reason the only bad matchup is going to be giant graveyard with two small spells being arrows snowball maybe a zap we're playing against anything else this deck is dominant so i'm going to go in for the cannon card in the back do not want to go in the same side as the lava hound so i fully expect him to go for the lava hound on the left hand side to protect that tower Ooh, what what oh this is not a lava hound attack there's a Night Witch out here. Unless it's a Love How Night Witch deck, which I... <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Get out of my face. I see you, man. I see you. This is not what we want to see, but it is what it is. All right, we fireballing out here. We're going to shut that down, and now our bats can reign supreme for the ultimate meme. That was crazy. I was not ready. Just wasn't prepared for my opponent to unleash the Lava Hound like that. Okay, if you balloon, that's fine. I can go for a Mortar. You might go in for arrows or some type of spell on top of my Dark Goblin, so we're not going to have to deal with that today. Miss me with that, brother. So the reason why we dropped the Mortar there was potentially because of the spell, and then he doesn't drop it. Makes me look like a little bit of a buffoon, but we'll vibe with it. You know, we're still up a lot of damage. I can go for guards at the river, maybe pull back both of the minions. Try to get some extra defense from our opponent out here. What's up, dude? What you got? I mean, these type of games, they make me feel alive. When someone makes it a wild, crazy card combination that I haven't seen in a long time, dude, the game is so much more fun when people do this. I'm going to fireball. I know this might not be the right decision, but I want the tombstone out of cycle. I get a uh, negative one trade. I get damage on the tower, and then the tombstone's out of cycle, allowing me to potentially go in for a cannon cart with bats on the other side. I know that this is a bit risky, but I think it's the right decision. Oh. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Wow, that hurt me. I'm going to minor here because I want to get something out of the bats. Otherwise, they're just worthless. And then I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin. I wonder if he's going to defend the bats. He seems like the type of player to just ignore it. Oh, why is that one bat going towards it? What are you doing, bat? You had one job. Oh, my gosh. And then the bats are going towards me. This is so bad. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. Oh my goodness. Mamma mia. I have to fireball everything and so I don't get three crowned. That is that is one of the worst things in my life. You know, just like saying, hey, please don't three crown me. I have a family, you psychopath. All right. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to play a bit more aggressive than I usually would. We're going to hit up him with everything we got. We're definitely going to get arrowed, but that is what it is. I need to go in for multiple miners here. Miner is digging a pathway towards the tower. Has all the power in the universe. Come on, Miner. You know you have it more in you. You know you got more sauce. You know you got more juice, buddy. I need to get more damage here, and I need it now. Oh, my gosh. I don't think the Miner is going to be able to do it, guys. I was telling you, Miner is like literally not a win condition, and it's been proven here. He just doesn't do enough damage. Even if we fireball, we need another Miner hit. I don't even know if he's able to dig fast enough. Come on, Miner. You know you got it, buddy. Come on. You're too late. <laughs> My motivational speeches are just not enough. So the first game of the day, we take a fat L against a Lava Hound Arrows deck, and the guy PMs me too. So obviously not the best way to start, but we always bounce back. All right, so we got to bounce back after that loss, guys. We need to get some great matchup out of here, aka not giant graveyard or some weird Lava Hound deck that I failed to identify. So the guards are going to be able to pound that Dark Prince quick. Oh my gosh, is the Dark Prince going to lose itself to guards? That's insane. That's crazy. So after the Dark Prince nerf, which I, I'm going to call it a nerf. I know it was a rework, but Clash Royale, it's not as good as it used to be, bruh. It's just not as good as it used to be even close to it. The, every single HP nerf, 
like that affects it in every game, right? Whereas I guess you can snipe magic archers. I guess you can snipe buildings. But what if your opponent doesn't have a magic archer? Doesn't have a building? Yeah, the prince can jump the river. It looks kind of cool, but it doesn't do anything. And then you're sitting there with a dark prince that has less HP in every other situation. So I think Click Clash Royale definitely needs to revert the nerf to the dark prince and the regular prince because they are way worse cards right now. I'm never going back to my old self. I rock like this. I'm legit. I don't really use them in my decks as much anymore at all. So I'm going to follow up with bats. We're going to be able to pull back the dark prince, force out a baby dragon, and then be in an amazing position. So. Right now, I'm wondering if I want to go in for a mortar just to go and pull the baby dragon and the dark prince. Maybe get some extra cheeky chip damage on the tower. And then I can follow up with a guards here. So, don't love the guards, but it is a necessary precaution so we can finish off the bandito despacito. Oh, no, no. Woo! Yo, dark prince, that is so weak right now. I messed that up 100%. I'm not going to fib right now, guys. Like, that could have been better, right? It is what it is. As long as the Ram Rider doesn't get that huge, humongous charge on me, we're still in a good spot. But it's comical to be able to log back the Dark Prince and just watch it die in situations that it wouldn't have, like, died that quickly, right? Man, it feels bad to be this man. Okay, so, obviously, I'm still in a bad spot. I, I know it feels weird saying, feels bad to be this man when I'm down and on the damage, down in Elixir. But it is what it is, you know, I've got a Mortar Fast Cycle deck, I have a lot of different ways of getting damage. Despite being in a problematic position, I've got Cannon Cart, I've got Dark Goblin, I feel very in control of this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Dark Goblin, I'm going to be able to win this battle pretty convincingly as well. I think that if I want to go in for bats, I can do that. If I want to go in for guards, that's fine too. There's multifarious ways of me shutting down the Baby Dragon and the guards are going to give us Counter Push too. So I can go for another Cannon Cart here. Oh, if I fireball that to the other side and then the cannon cart locks onto the tower. Oh my gosh, wait, the mortar's gonna let us win the battle at the river against the Dark Prince? Maybe we can get a miner in front or the cannon cart tanks for the miner. That's beautiful too. I'll take every step of the way whenever we get that value. So I'm gonna go in for a high mortar here in case he wants to go in for lightning or something. We say hello and then the mortar locks onto the tower and we say sayonara to his ram rider because it's gonna die to guard. I'm too weak. Oh, don't kill me. This is what I was talking about. You're just in control whenever you play against a bridge fam deck. Even if you're losing the game or you're down an elixir, you don't worry about it. Even though I started off with a loss and I was like down in the second game, I was looking at I was like, you know, still gonna be a W just because Mortar is that strong. As long as you're able to identify your opponent's deck, you're not gonna have any issues. I can fireball twice and walk away with win. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cycle all these cheap cards because I don't really care about them. Maybe I could go for a minor if I'm a total meaner, or I could go for a mortar and be like, hey, now you have to drop something really far away or the mortar's going to connect to your tower. Whichever one happens first, it doesn't really matter. GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. It was a pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance. Unless, oh my gosh, that was really close. That was really, really, really close. The Electro Wizard reset the miner. That was not supposed to be happening. It's just another reason to show you guys, do not rely on your miner for offense. Fireball cycle, use your mortars. Do not rely on that miner. All right, so I was playing with your feelings the entire game last time. And it was a little bit too close, but it is what it is. You know, guys already know, we're going to be on a massive win streak for the rest of the video. I feel it in my bones. These dark albums are about to pop off and parp every single balloon birthday party. Are you serious? You're going to go in for arrows like that? You're going to rain my parade like that, sir? I'll go in for a cannon cart. I'll cut you the other side. Wow, arrow zap. Okay. I am up for the challenge. I'm here, guys. Cannon Cart's going to be able to lock on a tower if we can get that uh, miner distracting the mini P.E.K.K.A. Forcing out guards, not the best, but not the worst, right? Like, we don't like seeing guards because they're a great answer to miner. They're an amazing answer to the Cannon Cart, too. So, because everything in the game is a good answer to miner. Why, why would I even say that? What's wrong with me? Miner, you're trash. You need to go to the recycling bin. And you need to come out stronger. You need to hit the gym or something, bro. So I can go in for like a Dark Goblin here, force out arrows. Not necessarily going to be the best decision to go towards a weaker tower, but uh, yeah. Fortunately, we uh, can go and drop on the other side. I'm going to Fireball here on top of most of the stuff. Oh, oh, I whiffed it. I got a bad feeling about this. I whiffed it. Oh, no, that was so bad. I, I can't. I can't even right now. That was supposed to hit the Mega Minion. I'm in some mega trouble right now, guys. So these games have been an emotional roller coaster for me right now. I've been having a lot of fun, but at the same time, I'm looking at the game and I'm just like, you know, that interaction could have been better. It is what it is. We'll try to bounce this way through and see what we can make happen. I mean, I'm likely going to keep going. Oh, oh, okay. You've got the Mega Knight. You've got the Mega Minion. You've got the Minions. Are you going to have the regular Knight too? I mean, 
I, I feel like this guy is a firm believer in evolution and the motivational speeches of the Mega Minion along with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I mean, he's literally got so many weird things together. I, I think that the Mini P.E.K.K.A. of the ground, um, or the Mini P.E.K.K.A. of the air is basically the Mega Minion too. So I guess, I guess that makes sense, right? He's just got all the Megas in here. Why doesn't he have Elite Barbarians if he truly believes in all the prefixes being powerful? Be careful what you wish for. So usually when you play against a deck like this, you want to go opposite side. You want to go for Miners in the other lane where they're not expecting it. Potentially getting away with the Cannon Card here. If the Bats get onto the tower and he doesn't zap this, he is potatoing on a different level. That's what we need, guys. I really needed that. And he's going to arrows on this so then we can go for Cannon Card Guards. Why are you not arrowing on that? You don't want to fulfill the prophecy. You want to screw me over. No, no, no. Daryl the Dark Common, don't walk into the Mega Minion. Sometimes, like, the unit will walk in to whatever unit your opponent was supposed to, like, lose. And you look at it and you're like, how did that even happen, Clash Royale? And then you have to understand that the targeting is really buggy sometimes. <laughs> so the, the Dark Goblin was walking up when it shouldn't have been walking up. The Dark Goblin should have been focusing on finishing off the Mega Minion, but it kept walking up into it. That's what I was trying to talk about. So he's going to arrow me. Oh, this is really tragic. I mean, I guess he could maybe zap the bats. I hope he doesn't. We're going to minor and pray that he doesn't know how to do that. Uh, guards are coming down. There's a high probability that this is still going to be very scary for me. So I got to go for Kanakar here. So the minions lock onto that. I can log on top of the guards. I think it's worth it. Just want to finish those things off. If the Kanakar dies here, I'm still in a sticky spot. So I'm going to go in for a Dark Goblin here. Maybe follow up with a Mortar. Ooh, yeah, I got to go for the Mortar. I got to go in for the moves, guys. We got to make moves. We got to make big plays for days. Hi, how are you? The Mortar locks on them. We're vibing. It's not going to lock onto what we needed it to. And, ooh, wait. Barrel the Dark Goblin coming up clutch. Is he not going to arrow this? Is he not going to... Is he not going to arrow that? Oh, jeez, dude. Come on now. Mortar just needs to lock on the tower. One hit. One hit. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Did I not tell you guys? The win streak is coming here. Fully formed in fruition. Even playing against someone that has arrows and zap can't stop me out here. Comebacks like that are unbelievably satisfying. Here we go. Let's get it, guys. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? I just said, here we go. And the guy goes rushing through with a goblin barrel on top of my dark goblin. Daryl deserved a better life without the intrusion of all of your spam. Sir, you are relentlessly spamming every card you have at me, and I do not appreciate it. Oh, Skeleton King. So that's one of those cards that you look at and you're like, yeah, that's a broken champion. He's going to do broken amount of damage and stupid stuff to me if I don't finish him off. Why? What, are, what possesses you? What demon is clicking on your cards and making you drop all of them at the river despite your Skeleton King literally collecting zero souls? You soulless sir. Oh my goodness. Every single one of his cards has been at the river, right? I'm not making this up. This is, this is not troll right now. Oh, the guards don't know. It's going to go right into a skeleton army. Oh, it hurts my feelings. It hurts my soul. You don't want to see that, guys. Let me tell you. So in this type of situation, I think it's okay if I go in for a log and then I go in for bats. Or I could conveniently go in for the cannon cart and then bats on top of the princess to finish her off. If the bats know their direction in life and find the princess. Come on now. You know you want this. I'm Batman. I want this. Why is there a skeleton on my tower? How did that get there? You had so many things that you had to pass through. The princess shooting you, the cannon cart, and the bats. And you found your way through, Larry. You're dead. You're not supposed to have a brain. You're not supposed to think intelligently. What you doing out here, Larry? Shooting star. This guy's clan is really popping off. I mean, this guy is shooting every single way. You can see, oh my gosh, that was looking like it wasn't going to go towards that. And I was going to have a fit. So that was good for us. Obviously, forcing out a Dark Goblin, getting a Mortar Shot, and getting a negative one trade is not that bad for all that damage and getting... I guess we got a positive trade because we forced out a Dark Goblin. Yeah, you know, we take that. Plus two trade and uh, damage on the tower. We'll take it every day of the week. I think he goes Skeleton King here. Yep, that's what I was expecting. You would never let your princess die. You appreciate her way too much. You've got the king. I got you, fam. You've got the, the princess. You've got the entire royalty package out here, man. Oh, wow. Both of those connected. That That's definitely not the vibe that we were hoping for. So I'm going to mortar here. Uh, there's a chance he goes in for a Dark Goblin. We'll log it. Ooh, that's an Inferno Tower. I wasn't ready for that, man. So high probability that he goes in for a Skeleton Army. I'm going to not do anything. I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to be like, yeah, that's pretty. That's not very nice, though, for you to go in for all that spam, brother. I just, I, I'm so sick and tired of champions being this broken, honestly. <laughs> the Skeleton can give him value in situations that I would never anticipate. I don't know if the Dark Goblin is going to be able to kill this. Why would you? What is he doing? That's the worst utilization of the Skeleton King I've ever seen. 
dropping it on his side of the map and then still getting value like how what i'm so confused oh my goodness the cannon card died how did that even happen he's literally just dropping cards oh i missed the fireball no i'm trolling i probably needed that damage guys did i hit the tower i i don't i, I don't think i hit the tower there i don't i really don't think i did but i also haven't seen a big spell from our opponent so maybe we can build a huge sim city here and get some value eventually somehow slowly but surely we'll find a way we'll find our paradise here but a bats dark goblin's gonna stay alive but we'll be able to kill most of his stuff with our guards i need to go in for a miner here if the guards are able to just body block for the dark goblin we can maybe finish off the princess with daryl come on dark goblin lock onto the princess or maybe we can go for a mortar here and pull this is such a weird situation to be in i've never in my life seen this many skeletons just go into the skeleton king that quickly oh this is bad this is so uncomfy i'm gonna bats here we will be able to kill those, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Lots of damage for him, though. We have to go for a Dark Goblin again to snipe the Princess. I don't know if the Cannon Cart is going to allow the Princess to get relocked onto. Is the Dark Goblin going to get onto the tower? Oh, baby, that's a lot of damage. Yes, sirs. We'll take it out here. We're going to go in for Bats. I wonder if this is a good decision. I want the Bats not to go and die to the Skeleton King and all the other stuff spammed at the river. Oh, why is he just doing that? Like... You gotta be kidding me! Like, you can't do that! That's literally just never a play! Dude, you gotta be joking right now! That's gonna lock onto my tower, too. This is insanely unfortunate. I'm gonna have to log and then go in for a Dark Goblin and Mortar, and hopefully our Dark Goblin wins out here, and then I can go in for a Fireball and walk with win. I cannot believe how much better I had to play than someone that just spams Skeleton King ability and every card at the river. Champions are just fundamentally unfair. Hey yo, let's keep up that win streak. We have bounced back so hard after we lost against Slavhound in the first game of the day. So, feels fantastic. I don't know if logging right now is a good decision because there's a lot of people that run log bait. And when they see the log out of cycle, they come alive. They spam everything that they have at the river. So, I'm going to go in for a can of car here so Daryl the Dark Goblin doesn't take any... I don't think he's gonna take any slaps bye i was holding my breath for a second because i'm like wait there's a chance that this guy's gonna end up having a baby dragon tech with arrows because he could end up having love hound again i was biting my tongue i was holding my breath and i didn't know what to do wait nothing for this right you're gonna have snowball or electro wizard and either of those they don't kill it in time daryl the dark goblin put in so much work against the electro wizard to the point that i don't have to worry about it that's ridiculous we're up a thousand damage, and I can tell you one thing for sure. The miner wasn't the severe culprit that did that amount of value. So it was obviously the combination of the guards, Dark Goblin, and Bats counter pushing with the miner. And then the miner is just like left alone. It's just like, okay, we are going to be the big meat shield. We're going to be the linebacker so that we can get value with the other stuff. Definitely want to go in for Dark Goblin off to the side, and then I'm going to log this last possible second. Oh, no, 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 Ram Rider, don't do it like that! How far away do I have to drop the Dark Goblin so it doesn't get assassinated by the Ram Rider? Is it even possible? Let me know down below in the comment section because I have probably haven't played Dark Goblin enough against Ram Riders to figure that out. So it's a learning process. Do not do what I just did. <laughs> do as we want, not as we do. Also, amazing thing from the Cannon Cart. One thing that I do have to say when you are running Miner, a lot of times when you know that your units aren't going to be able to get damage, like you know that the Cannon Cart is going to get stopped, or you know that your Mega Knight Miner deck in the Mega Knight is going to get stopped. You want your Cannon Cart, your P.E.K.K.A., your Mega Knight, you want that to be the primary target of the tower. This is what people do at pro level. And what they get out of that is the Miner having a lot more HP, so then it gets more damage on the tower. That's something that I've realized by watching Air Surfer, one of the best players in the entire world, and I was playing with him, and he was like, hey, Jake, you should start doing this. It would give you way better benefits. So I just want to uh, give that piece of advice for you because it helped me out a lot. Maybe it helps everyone else out too. So Ram Rider is definitely going to die to guards here. This is 100% a vibe. Usually if you play against a balloon deck, a hog rider... Oh, it just jumped my log. I'm an idiot. I'm a buffoon. <laughs> but I mean, what I'm talking about is exactly what I said before. If you play against a Ram Rider, a hog rider, a balloon deck, a P.E.K.K.A. deck, you're going to have amazing answers with the mortar. You do not have to play this matchup perfectly. So... This is why I think it's probably one of the best decks for ladder for a good reason. A lot of people that run P.E.K.K.A. There's a ton of people that run Log Bait. You have a fast cycle with Log. You hard counter the heck out of them. You also destroy people that have P.E.K.K.A. and any Bridge Bam deck. So this is one of the, the best decks for ladder. And it's one of the reasons why that uh, so many people that 
are having the ability to level up a solid deck and they don't want to spend a ton of money leveling up so many different decks and having it change as the meta changes this is what they choose so yeah it's a, it's a solid thing we're gonna take a w here i'm gonna ignore the ram rider and uh, i'll go for the dark goblin off to the side and see if it doesn't get hit so yeah you can drop the dark goblin there we're learning it's a it's a life lesson guys drop your dark goblin there as the ram rider hits you and then you won't take any damage from the dark goblin so we were able to learn something in the end and we walk away with a win getting all those wins after the loss against Lava Hound is unbelievably satisfying. And to be honest, the game against Lava Hound, if I hadn't dropped that Mortar along with the Dark Goblin at the very start and I went really aggressive when he had dropped the Balloon Push, I probably would have won the game if I went for Cannon Clark plus Dark Goblin. Reviewing the replay, I realized he had no Elixir and that Mortar on defense was probably what lost me the game. So every single time that you play this deck, as long as you're not playing against Giant Graveyard, there's a potential for you to win if you just play better than your opponent. Like, subscribe for more daily videos and have an awesome rest of your day.